So day two of the road trip, and uh, what have we been up to today? It's now quarter to five, and we are headed to Alicante, and we have been all day around Mataron. Well, it's been, it, I have to say, it's been an incredible day. Apart from I've just realized I've gone the wrong way. But anyway, it has been, really what we come what we what, what I'm here for so what we're here for what Upsticks is here for um, you know and also to it's great to uh, to meet people um, so anyway what have we done so this morning we went to the fish market which is the town hall uh, in Matheron where as you can see, I'm just leaving Campasol now. This is the Campasol urbanisation, which I'm going to tell you all about my exciting day here in Campasol. And we're going to have a massive video coming out. It's, I think it's about an hour long of what we've been up to because I've had the best tour guide in the world. Um, uh, but first of all, I need to... I was in uh, Matheron. We got all the content we needed and all the info we needed from um, the town hall. First down to the Mercado de Bastos, which actually, to be perfectly honest with you, didn't really, wasn't very fruitful because they don't do what uh, what we need them to do there. But then I went to the town hall now, very nice and we got the information we need from them. So as you can see now, back out on the open road. So this is, we're off to Alicante, so I believe we have to actually go through Mercia. Uh, and from Mercia, it's about a 45 minute drive to, to Alicante on the toll road. So yeah, so from there, we, um, we came up to Campo Sol. And that's where the fun began. Because this is really, really what I wanted to see. Now I knew that Campo Sol had a big community. Um, but I didn't really know what, what Campo Sol was. I didn't really understand it. Um, I just kept hearing about sectors and people and uh, evidently um, we follow Sean from Expat Matheron on his YouTube channel and uh, he follows us. It was, first, it was first brought to my attention actually when someone said, oh, I follow this channel uh, called Expat Matheron and he mentioned you on it. I was like, oh, that's cool. So I checked out his channel. I was like, oh, Sean. So I reached out to him actually a few years ago and he had me on a couple of times doing live feeds and stuff. So um, with my little discovery trip um, with with Sean, um, I said I, I reached out to him and said, look, I'm coming up to Campasol. The reason I'm coming up to Campasol is because we want to strengthen our support network around uh, Spain, really, but in the main areas. And we're getting so many people now looking at coming to this area, so looking at coming to Campasol. Um, so yeah, so um, he was like, yeah, yeah, definitely, let's, uh, let's meet up. So after I thin finished in Matheron, um, we went, I went over to Campasol, met up with Sean, had, I hadn't eaten at that point, and so went into a bar, turns out I've spoken to the bar owner, which was nice, about a car, and the, I gave him some honest advice because at that time uh, there's nothing we could do with his car, so he was happy for that honest advice. But um, but yeah, um, had breakfast there, very nice English breakfast, ages since I had one. Well, that's a lie, we have them at the business, business first meetings, but you know, outside of that, that was a really nice breakfast, um, very warm breakfast, didn't come cold, which was nice. Um, and we had a chat, answered a few questions, and I was like, you okay to show me about? Well, that was five hours ago, and we've had the best day ever. It was brilliant. Literally, um, I definitely owe Sean a big meal out, because he took me and showed me the whole of Campasol, the different sectors, gave me a feel for the community there, Told me, literally filled us in, told us everything. It was brilliant. First of all, we went around Sector A where he lives. He took me around the shops, showed me what services were there. 
you know, so when we're talking to people, you know, people who move into Campus Vulcan will discover this for themselves, but it's great to have an insight into what people will actually see and where they're going to be living, and I got that today, um, and what a fantastic area, so... First of all, we did Section A, I think it's called, Sector A, sorry, and then he took me over to Sector B, uh, where all the shops were, showed me where the estate agents were. We went in to see Mercer's, who are a huge estate agent here, and they recommend us quite regularly. I'd never actually been there, so I dropped in to say hi, and um, dropped in to say hi, and basically thank them for their recommendation. And uh, we spent about half an hour just chatting about the various projects for Campus Soul, where you know where it was, where it's going to, the prices of the houses, you know, the various facilities which are available there. Um, then we had a good look around the supermarkets. We actually found quite a nice tidy little wine shop in the sector A, which was nice. So I bought a nice bottle of wine for my wife to take back with me from Fulbinia. Then we went over and we saw section C and D and over section D, I think it was, there's a golf course, so we stopped off there. Sean did a live on his YouTube channel, being a, a YouTube star. Um, and we met up with some clients. Well, they're going to be clients. Our guys, Kev, there, you'll see, he's always commenting on my videos. So, hey, Kev, I hope I get a comment on this video as well. Fantastic to meet up with them, you know, and chat about their plans. And um, they're almost there, you know, almost there. It's like everything, time is of the essence but you know we're gonna get them an NLV basically. Uh, very confident at that. And uh, then we went over to Candado the Alama I think it's called. Another golf resort anyway this, there's a video coming out in the next month or so with the whole day recorded if you're looking in this area to buy or to live then you have to watch the video because Sean just gives us some some massive insights into what it's like to live here, um, what it's like, property prices, what people's fails have been, the positive stories. It just gave us an in insight, total insight into Campus uh, and I can't be grateful enough for him for, uh, for taking me around today, introducing me to people. Surprise, I'm really pleased the amount of people who knew Upsticks already, which is great. Um, it's nice to be out here and to be known. And yeah, we're definitely looking at expanding now and making sure, I say expanding, when I say expanding, it's focusing on the Mercer area, this campus hall area, because we've got a solid support network now here. Um, I mean, it's everything. So there's, this might sound crazy, but there's a GLS job point. Well, we use GLS couriers. So for people, we like to send out application forms. People, when you're doing NLV renewals, for example, can't scan documents, or maybe they need to send us originals. Well, that's brilliant. That means we've got a drop point, which is essentially, you drop it there, it's like dropping it in our office. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna have that. Um, what else has been going on? Uh, also, we went to the ITV station, and I immediately got in with the main technician, uh, really nice guy, and I said, look, we're gonna be sending cars down here with a translator, um, what's the process? What documents do we need to provide? Can we pre-book the appointment by email, etc., etc., etc." et cetera, et cetera. They, Initially they were like, well, just walk in, we'll check it, and you might get an appointment, you might not. And we need something a little bit more concrete than that, really, because, what we try and do at times is we have very flimsy structure given to us by the administration authorities at times anywhere, like ITV stations, like, yeah, well, you might get to say, you might get to buy, and we've got to go back to the client and go, well, you might get to say, no, we can't do that, obviously we can't, we're gonna try and control that as much as possible. So I said, well, look, could you give us your email address? We will email the full file digitally to you um, and then once you get the approval, if you give us a set appointment, then um, then we can uh, we can come and do it without any problems at all. And yeah, that was it. Fine. Jobs are good. Em.
And he was like, yeah, sure. I said, look, we've, we've done hundreds of these. We know what we're doing, but we do want to guarantee that the car can just go through on the day it wants to go through. Not turn up, okay, now you've got to go back tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. No, we said we need a set an appointment once the document's been approved. And he was like, brilliant. Send it to this email address and uh, we'll give you the appointment once it's been revised. So, yeah, that's sort of a win-win. Um, and, yeah, that's basically it. I mean, what can I say about Campus Art? What a great community. Yeah, predominantly, I mean, if you're looking to live in a Spanish community, you're not going to want to live in Campasol because I don't think I see, I didn't see many Spaniards there. Um, but in terms of somewhere for people to retire, uh, if you're not look particularly worried about living in a local Spanish community and being immersed in, in the culture, um, you can still do that if you live in Campasol. So my experience in Matharon is that if you wanted to live in a friendly community, which it looks very friendly to me, you know, the prices of the properties look very reasonable, um, which is well served because you had everything there. You had your um, social security doctors there. You had your private doctors there, supermarkets. Um, there's restaurants, three Indian restaurants. <laughs> You know, there's everything that you could possibly need um, on which is like a small town really in Campasol and then 15 minutes down the road you have um, you have Mataron which is a great Spanish town you can you know if you fancy going down and, 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 and you know being there having something to eat in a Spanish restaurant um, Mataron is, is a functional Spanish town it's I really enjoyed myself there. I was walking around today. Um, and if you don't want that, then you're only 20 minutes from the coast and that fantastic port. We've, we've got a, uh, a port video coming up as well. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's basically it. Um, a fantastic day out, day two of our road trip. We are now gonna, I'm gonna turn the camera around again for you. So I've got the video cut off, but you just look at the scenery, yeah. So we're going to carry on, we're going to go to um, Alicante, we're going to be all day in Alicante tomorrow. Um, meeting with Victoria, who you know, many of you know Victoria on the channel. She's done our appointments in Alicante now for a couple of years, and we're part of it, she's part of the team. Uh, we've got lots to catch up on and I'm going to be going to appointments at the uh, Mira uh, police station we've got seven appointments there tomorrow um, again Victoria's going to be with me um, and we're going to see what the station is like on the inside how the appointments go uh, just get an update on that and then on Thursday it's over to Torre Vieja Ciudad Quesada and that area and I'm hoping to get to the Cartagena uh, region uh, as well to get all the information that we need from there but anyway it's been a successful day a successful couple of days this is day two Tuesday the 7th very happy with the day can't be more thankful for our host today Sean who just you know he just went above and beyond so he obviously loves where he lives you know he's, and he does a, a fantastic job for the area on his YouTube channel the YouTube star in not only in Matheron but 14,000 followers but yeah he's um, Definitely, uh, definitely, you know, somebody who's an ambassador for the area. Sean for mayor. No, not quite. I don't think he'd want that. But yeah, you know, it's definitely. Uh, if you if you are, I should give him a shout. I really. If you are looking at the Mercer area uh, or considering the Mercer area, look at his channel. Explain Matheron. It's uh, it's a great channel. Sean's on here every day doing lives. I think the ba the best thing about his channel as with you know the driving around state there's no there's no rubbish it's just his honest opinion about living life in Spain um, 
mean, what more do you need? It's, we need more of that on, on all channels. You know, we do a lot of the requirements, a lot of the, you know, how do you get this, how do you get that, but what it's actually like to live here, we need more of that as well. Um, so yeah, the sign up to the channel. You can just see here, El Pozo, that factory off to the left hand side. That's the biggest sort of processed meat factory in the whole of Spain, I think. El Pozo is a huge company, huge. They do all the, everything from hot dogs to the processed ham stuff. Not my favorite food, I have to say. Um, but yeah. So anyway, day two. And it's been a fantastic day. Um, it's not ended yet, unfortunately it's work. I just checked, I cleared my in inbox this morning and I've just checked and I've got 53 emails. So as soon as I get to the hotel, half six, jump on them. Um, and uh, a lot of them, to be honest, uh, you know, we get a lot of processing emails. So clients who engage with us, you'll know, you'll get a form to fill in, maybe it's to, start the process getting your documents legalized i always get a notification of that so you know stuff like that happens as well but we'll make sure those emails are answered go and see costa and we will give you an update tomorrow on how it's going thanks for watching and uh thanks for supporting the channel and as i say if you're looking at moving to spain or not looking to visa we're doing these trips to to discover really what's out there for people moving different parts of Spain. We don't just want to be the online people, um, you know, we want to be in it. It's impossible to be everywhere all the time, and maybe it's not. You know, if you get support network set up around Spain, then upstairs it's going to help people. And that's the mission, that's the plan. Um, and I have to say, at the moment, on this road trip, I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. Okay, look out for another video soon.